Uh, we're going to move on to our third topic. Uh, because Nintendo finally, last week, because we're recording the week it happened, but for you guys it's last week, had their uh, end of fiscal year financial report and meeting with investors and Q&A session and yada, yada, yada. So uh, what I have here is a giant thing um, going off of everything that happened. And I'm going to have Eric kind of list off the main bullet point stuff here. Uh, and then pause if there's anything that surprises you and you want to talk about. Well, let's let's start off right away with the first one we, we might as well talk about because... It's uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild record sales of... Recorded uh, sales. Recorded sales. Sorry, my bad. I can't read. I don't know why you're having me do this. Of 2.76 million units. Now, you said this was just for... Now, before you say anything, move down three bullet points and read that. Yes, yes. The Switch hardware sells 2.74 million. So, Breath of the Wild on Switch outsold the number of Nintendo Switch units. Yes, now we've we've mentioned this happened in the United States before, but now this is worldwide. This yeah, is okay. all together. Yeah. So this is now actually really confirming that you know this is yeah. Now here's for the sure. weird thing. Here's the weird thing. So Nintendo it said that 2.76 million units of Breath of the Wild sold for Switch. Uh, Nintendo Switch sold 2.74 million units. But the president and CEO of Nintendo, Mr. Kimishima, came out and said that the Breath of the Wild has a 90% attach rate on Nintendo Switch, which doesn't make sense if it sold more copies yeah, than no. Nintendo Switches exist. Now, uh, that doesn't eh. mean that everyone that owns the Switch owns Breath of the Wild. Right, we do know right. there's people who own multiple copies. But the point is is that attach rate is basically based on unit sales versus consoles in the market. Right. And unit sales are more than the consoles in the market. So, it's so that's like over 100, 100% attach like rate. Like 102% probably. Uh, so I think what he meant to say is 90% of customers who buy a Switch also right. buy a copy right. of the Wild instead of the attach rate. But right. anyways, you know, things that could have gotten lost in translation. Lost in translation. Yeah. Um, so what does this tell you? Well, um, considering that the... Uh, that uh, I think the uh, switch came out in the middle of this. Whatever, where were they measuring from again? April of last year through March thirty first. Okay, yeah. So oh, never mind. Year. So the switch came out at the end of this financial fiscal yes, year, less than a month in the market. Yeah, and that already has two point seven six million units sold. And then in you March, look at the yeah, not a holiday period. Yeah, that's crazy. And then you look at the total uh. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, of Breath of the Wild, okay, is... Okay, never mind. That, that... What? What were you looking I, at? I was looking at something I thought it was completely well, different. Well, explain what you were looking at. Yeah, I, I saw that the Wii U version sold... Uh, or Wii U sold... I thought it was the Wii U sold 3.84 yeah, million no. units. Including the Wii U, uh, there has been 3.84 million t- um, Breath of the Wild copies sold. Okay. I thought it was just saying so, there was 3. Yeah. point something. So, to give you an idea, that's like 1.08... Eight million units yeah, sold like on the Wii U for Breath of the Wild, which I'd say is shockingly small. But again, there's not a lot of Wii U's on the market in the first place. You can't right. buy Wii U's new anymore. Right. Um, they're discontinued. Well, and actually, surprisingly, that's I mean that's I guess it's a little bit under half, almost a third of the Switch sales, which is sure not terrible. Um. What this tells me is, is something I am afraid about with the Switch. Because 2.74 million in less than a month is insane. The PlayStation 4, when it launched during the holiday period, from when it launched to a month later in December, only sold 2 million units. And this outpaced that massively. So what scares me, though, is that 2.76, you know, the 90% tax rate that Nintendo claims, which doesn't add up math-wise, yes, yes, yes. Um, is that... My main fear is that this is just a Zelda system right now. and well, Right now. Now, Mario Kart 8 just released for, for people. Like, it releases for us tomorrow, the day after we record this. But it re- it's already out of the market, and that's probably going to do fantastic. They noted somewhere that like, pre- like pre-sales for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe have, have been really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't, I haven't talked to my local game site yet. They usually tell me like how, what the buzz is for it. Um, like Maybe there's even a midnight launch, and I just don't know about it. But uh, it, it's interesting to me... Because when you have that kind of attach rate, it means that one game is selling your system. And obviously you keep hitting it with, with sellers. But it, it, it kind of makes it be like, okay, once that one game is done, is the Switch going to keep selling? Um, 
Now, I think one difference between this, because like Nintendo has always said, it takes one game to become a system seller, mm-hmm. and they've been basically kind of right about it in the past. Yeah, like it was it was Brain Age and Nintendo. It was a two game combo for the DS that made that blow up. Yep. For Wii, it was basically just Wii Sports. I mean. Yeah. Twilight Princess helped bring some hardcore faithful over, but Wii Sports is really why that thing blew up. Um, and then they obviously when they followed up, you know, Just Dance come off from Ubisoft, which was really popular. Still go, still an ongoing series, it's still popular. Uh, and yet, you know, Wii Fit came out, and that was a big phenomenon. Um, so I, I, I wonder, I worry if Switch is just going to end up being that Zelda system um, that nobody buys between now and till Mario comes out. Mario Odyssey. It is a fear of mine. It, like, might be how right. much further is Breath of the Wild going to... Like, it's hard to know because Switch is sold out, right? right? Every unit they could get out on the on, on shelves is sold out. Like, that's just through March. If you include this month, which we're almost at the end of April, it, I mean, it, it could be twice that number right now. We could be right. looking at 6 million Switch units in the right. wild. Um, at 6 million Breath of the Wild copies sold on the system. Right. We, we, we right. don't know. Right. Because um, they didn't, you know, they're not divulging numbers for this current month, obviously, because they're just talking about last year. Um... I don't know. I'm, th- these numbers are fantastic. Let's put it that way. Uh, maybe to put this in some perspective, uh, I don't know if it's listed on there because this was kind of reported in the Q&A session. Uh, one, two switches sold like almost, they said almost one million copies worldwide. Yeah, um, no, it just which, says on here, which it's just, would, just generating buzz. Yeah, which is the second best selling Switch game apparently. Uh, and so I, I think it was Snipperclips had, had 340,000 downloads and that's one of like, the top like eShop only games. Uh, in that Super Bomberman R had over 500,000 copies sold, um, which they're kind of using those games to prop them up as, hey, look, third parties are having success. No million sellers, but again, Super Clips and Super Bomberman R aren't really games I would expect to sell millions of copies, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm trying to even, like, Minecraft? I'm trying to remember, like, what is the next big major third-party game that we're going to actually have the gauge interest in? I mean, is it going to be NBA 2K? Yeah, I don't know. Like, Skyrim, I guess. Yeah. You know, if that blows yeah. up, maybe people are like, oh, maybe that would entice, like, uh, you know, the people behind The Witcher to bring that series over. Because, hey, look, people bought the hell out of Skyrim. Zelda, right. we should right. bring over The Witcher. Yeah. Um, please bring over The Witcher. That would be fantastic. I would love to have that on the go. Uh, cool. Um, I guess I'll, I'll take over for the next point, too. Okay. Um, so... On top of this, uh, Switch software total is, you know, 5.46 million um, for last year, which, again, Zelda makes up over half of that. Right. So Or exactly half? Something like that. Yeah, somewhere Pretty there, close. Yeah. Um, so, again, that just kind of gives you an idea that, yes, other games are selling. You know, whether it's what you switch, Super Clips, Bomberman, now, Binding of Isaac. Is that, in counting, is that counting the uh, actual Switch sales itself, the actual console? The console does not. No, no, okay. that's just that's software. just soft. Oh, okay, just software, right. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Wow. Why did well I, because I didn't okay because wow. sometimes it get modeled in the past because like the Wii came bundled with a game and they would count that right. game in with the sales. So like how many Wii units sold is technically also how many games. Like, right. Yeah, okay. Get, yeah, yeah. Nintendo's been funny with yes, that in the past. But software, but there's no, yes. There's no packing game right. this time, okay. so it's just software. software sales. Yes. Um, so here's something crazy. We finally have some some numbers for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Fifteen point four four million units. That puts it ahead of some Pokemon games, behind some Pokemon games, but it is still one of the most popular games to release, I think, in like the last decade for Pokemon. Um, and that's just now. The other ones have had their sales basically finalized. So just new copies of this are still selling. Um, I mean, I could see yeah. it crossing 17 million at some point. Yeah, this that's, year. Um, that's pretty I mean, good. That, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's really, really good. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Maker for 3DS, which again was a was a ported version, um, missing online functionality uh, of the Wii U version. Uh, Two point three four million. That's a game I think if they brought that to Switch would do fantastic. Oh yeah, for sure. Because um, then you kind of get the 3DS on the go kind of gaming plus the full console version Nintendo uh, <laughs> with full online functionality. Well, Please. we gotta get online functionality first to begin with, but well, Mario Kart Eight's gonna have online. Yeah. It has online. So like yeah. we have. We can connect to the internet. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Kirby, Kirby Planet Ro- uh, Robobot, that was a 3DS game, so 1.36 million. Um, and they were really excited that Pokemon Go drove 3DS sales outside of Japan. And 3DS sales, I think, rose by like 4, 4% or 5% year over year. 
uh, which is the first increase year over year in 3DS sales in like four years. It had been declining 3DS sales every year, which is pretty typical because the 3DS feels like it's at its end of life, but mm-hmm. then it just had one of its most popular games ever come out last year. So, uh, But Pokemon Go kind of helped reinvigorate some of that. Pokemon Go was on the 3DS? No, no, no. Pokemon Go drove 3DS sales. Like People want, people who haven't played Pokemon in forever play Pokemon oh, Go, went out so and bought a 3DS, 3DS to play DS Pokemon, Pokemon games. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, which is what Nintendo is hoping happens yeah. more often. They're right, hoping right. like Super Mario Run helps Mario Odyssey. Right. You know, Fire Emblem Heroes helps Fire Emblem Echoes and Fire right. Emblem right. for Switch and Fire right. Emblem Warriors. Again, lots of Fire Emblem games. Hey, go vote on my team. Go watch the second part one. Go yeah. vote for my team. I, I got the only Fire Emblem character. Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, we know that 3DS sales... Uh, 3DS sales for last fiscal year stand at 7.27 million units. And I'm sorry, I was wrong. It was a 7% increase year on year. Uh, 3DS software sales reached 55.08 million units. Again, a 14% increase year on year. I'm guessing that increase is like 90% Pokemon. No, oh, probably. Um, More than likely. Anyways, but uh, I, I guess, you know, just stopping there. You know, because we always, we always keep asking, you know, why does Nintendo support 3DS? Why are they just pushing everything to Switch? Why this? Why that? Well, you've got 55 million reasons why yeah. they keep pushing 3DS. Yeah. In 2016, 55 million 3DS games sold. But at the same point in time, if they push these to the Switch, is there people going to be... There's not 55 million Switches. Right. That's like... I, I, I... like, like my, I, I think... I think I just this just gave me a, like an epiphany. Yeah. Why Nintendo is still pushing the 3DS as hard as they are. The Wii U's install base isn't going to be at 50 million plus for three, four, or five years. Right. The 3DS is already there, pushing 50 million plus a year. Right. Why would they stop making games to get that 50 million plus? Right. Until the Switch has a big enough install base. Yeah. No, de- and definitely. Um, and again, who knows? Maybe this first year it'll happen. Maybe it'll be. Uh, Nintendo Switch sells 15 million units this year and ends up selling, you know, 60 million games because everyone who bought a Switch bought four or five games. Yeah. Um, I doubt it, but you don't know. I mean, you look at it, you know, 55.08 million units, that's technically, there's more 3DSs on the market than sold. So still, that's a lot of money to throw away. Mm-hmm. I, I think... I understand it. I understand that people love the 3DS, which is what sucks. I understand why people hate it on this because so I get it. 3DS is great. It has an amazing library of games. It really yeah. does. Oh, it re- for sure. If you go through the library, it reminds me a lot of like the Super Nintendo, just the quality of titles there are um, and the variety of titles. Yep. It's just that Switch, baby. Yeah, I know, right? Just bring these games to Switch. Like You can satisfy both crowds. Yeah. Have them on Switch and on 3DS. I mean, I know you got to retool a little bit, two screens, one screen, but... Yeah. Let, let Nintendo sort that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Semantics. Um, so, uh, as we said before, Breath of the Wild and Wii U sold 1.08 million units. Um, Wii U software sales for last year are 14.8 million units. Not a whole lot. So um, absolutely crushed by the 3DS I software. I mean, in, in, put it this way. In one month, uh, the Switch sold like one-third of that in terms of software sales. Mm-hmm. So... Just to put some perspective on that, and obviously the 3DS destroyed it. Uh, and that's a 46% decrease year on year. Also not a surprise, there wasn't a lot of huge Wii U games last year. Um, and this last fiscal year, besides Breath of the Wild. Um, and they discontinued the Wii U hardware. Yeah. So you didn't really expect there to be big sales. Right. Um, and speaking of the Wii U hardware, decreased sales from a volume of 760,000 units is all they sold. Two? 760,000 units. Wow. That is it. Uh, but again, they discontinued. The right, system. right, right. And it wasn't so, selling uh, that well to begin. Like, like, that's a 77% decrease year to year. That means the previous fiscal year they sold, like, what? Yeah. 1.8 million or something. Yeah. Like, they did not sell that many units um, <laughs> in the first place. So, again, the Wii U was a flop. Oh, yeah, definitely. As much as I enjoyed the system and enjoyed the games, it was a flop, and that's just further indication of why the Switch was pushed out when it was, even if some people think it was a little rushed, because we don't, we still don't have full features. Um, again, we just brought it up before. When we've seen it online. That kind of sucks. Yep. That should be their day one in 2017. Yep. But, uh, again, these numbers kind of show you 
Release of the Switch when it did was a massive success, and here's why. In one month, it outsold the total number of Switch. Uh, I'm sorry, the total number of Wii U, Wii U units sold over the last two fiscal years combined. So it's like, yeah, duh, yeah, they had to do it. Um, Super Mario Run uh, elicited a fantastic response from consumers worldwide, and Fire Emblem Heroes is being enjoyed by longtime fans of the Fire Emblem series. Um, so, what's interesting about Super Mario Run and Fire Emblem? Is we learned in this thing that Super Mario Run has like 150 million user base install, but uh, Fire Emblem Heroes has a very tiny fraction of that. But Fire Emblem Heroes makes significantly more money than Super Mario Run, mm-hmm. um, and that's to be expected. Super Mario Run is a one-time purchase game or free to try, and Fire Emblem Heroes is microtransactions. Microtransaction games make more money over time, whereas Super Mario is like we make some money day one, and then uh, kind of that's it. Um, but again, Nintendo's hope for these games is pushing sales of other things. They're not looking for it to be Pokemon Go every time. Um, I'm sure their investors would love for it to be Pokemon Go every time. Um, so Amiibo figures sold 9.1 million units and 9.3 million units for their card-based Amiibo. Um, again, that's probably right in line. Nintendo's been selling between 8 and 10 million Amiibo, uh, the physical and card version, since they came out. So... Um, again, Amiibo is still really, really popular. Not much more to say about that. Um, I will say, in this past fiscal year, you're not really big into Amiibo. But is there an Amiibo figure that just really springs to your mind that you loved from this past year? Um, no, not really. Cause not even I, the Breath of the Wild ones? Yeah, I mean, outside of those, yeah. Those were last this, this, were this past yeah. fiscal year? Yeah. I, I, looking at the one on your desk with Link firing the, uh, the Archer, the Archer. V3 yeah. last year. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. 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 That, that one is pretty awesome. I do like the, uh, the, uh, wow. Oh, why can't I think of the name right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're back. I'm, <laughs> I'm so out of it right now. Um, I liked all the Zelda, but for me, by the way, it's also Zelda Amiibo. A little right, biased because right. I was editor in chief at Zelda Farmer. So I, a little right. bit of, uh. Right, right. A little bit of the 30th anniversary Zelda yeah. Amiibo that came out last year. The Guardian. Like there we go. Oh, the Guardian. The Guardian with the expendable legs. That, yeah, that's sitting the, over the there upside down right now. The giganticness of it. Oh, it's huge. Um, all right. So here's where things get a little interesting. Um, the operating profit is 489 billion yen against net sales of 29 billion yen. Of which 359 billion yen or 73.4% total sales were overseas sales. Those are some really weird numbers. Uh, 50.3 billion yen share of profit of entities accounted for using the equity method related to the Pokemon company and other investments, um, resulting in an ordinary profit of 20.2 billion yen. Uh, due to the sale of the Seattle Mariners Major League Baseball team, Nintendo recorded gain on sales of investment totaling 64.5 billion yen as extraordinary income, meaning that the net profit attributed to owners of the parent was 102.5 billion yen. Lots and lots of numbers there. Um, the baseline of what you need to know is that Nintendo, essentially, in terms of total cash flow, total money coming into them, they had a, about $980 million of money flow into Nintendo um, in this past fiscal year, which is a ton. That's almost a billion dollars mm-hmm. coming to Nintendo. And Nintendo, by the way, is a billion-dollar company. You don't have to make a billion dollars in a year to be a billion-dollar company. You just have to have a value that's over a billion dollars. Right. So Nintendo is a billion-dollar company. So th- like, that's just one of Nintendo's highest years ever. Um, again, sale of the Seattle Mariners really helped. So that's a one-time thing. Pokemon Go really helped. Um, as you said, you know, twenty point two billion yen out of that. I mean, that that's not nothing to scoff at. Um, so. You know, their, their net gain, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's probably pretty high. Yeah. Because, again, they had some extraordinary income that they usually don't have. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what the Switch does for them this year. Because right. Because it's just Switch and mobile games. There's no Seattle Mariners this game. There's probably no game that's going to be a smash hit like Pokemon Go. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so here here's some interesting stuff. Uh, Nintendo is targeting 10 million hardware units for the Switch for this next fiscal year. 
And then they're targeting 35 million software units for Switch for this fiscal year. So they're looking at, you know, a 3 to 1 attach ratio for software, basically. Right. Um, and then 10 million more units, which will put the total, their projected total, at the end of March next year around 12.74 million. Yeah. So around 13, 13 million. million. Yeah. Um, so that, does that seem high or low to you to, to project 10 million hardware sales this year? Yeah, I know it's not going to keep the the rate it's going, but if it could, Man, my, my lord, Mario Kart, it, it, it can't. They can't keep it up on the shelf. Mario Kart's coming out now. That's going to yeah. be another high demand title. Yeah, and they're probably hoping then, that'll carry all through next month. And then they have arms, arms and yep. arms. I know some people are like, oh, what's the big deal? Arm? It it just goes on the cover of Edge magazine. Okay. Um. Yeah. So like Nintendo's putting some promotion behind this bad boy. Yeah. Um. So. Who knows? I mean, yeah, e- even Edge Magazine had a lot of nice things to say. It said this is like the sleeper smash hit. Right. Um, which, again, and the last game to do that was Splatoon. Right. And so, then, you, I mean, you have Splatoon 2 coming out, too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... And it's, then we, it's E3 I, and whatever gets announced there. Right. I, I think... I mean, it's definite. I don't know if it's going to keep this exact pace, but it, it might keep something close. So, you're... That might actually be a little low, to be completely honest. So... It's interesting you bring that up because there's a lot of investors that are basically saying Nintendo's lowballing the hell out of this. We're looking at I'm, we're projecting 12, 15 million, and what I will say is I think Nintendo's projection is low too, uh, but I I feel like it's responsibly low because right. Nintendo over projected basically everything this this past generation, which I'm I'm throwing Wii U and 3DS in there. They projected so much sales for those things every Sans year. The, uh, and NES classic plopped, 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 plopped. Um. Yeah. And, and well, NES Classic over. could be could be like this, where they under projected yeah. sales. Yeah. Um. They only projected two million sales for Switch in the in March, and it sold two point seven four. Um. They're only projecting ten million this fiscal year. I mean, Mario Odyssey and plus you know Mario Kart and like, you know who knows what other games are coming. I mean, yeah, right. I, we do have a giant list of games, so we have an idea. Yeah. But we you know in terms of major titles, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles. It, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You just don't know. Um, I feel like it's low just because, as much as we talked before, that you know maybe Switch is kind of a Zelda system. That's why it's selling. Which yes, that's the primary reason people are buying to play Zelda. Um, but people's experience after playing Zelda is that the system is kind of nice. Yeah, this system is fantastic. And that when they go in the eShop, the games that are there, they're not bad. Yeah, Snake Pass isn't bad. Mm-hmm. Snipper Clips pretty good. Yeah, Shovel Knight. Pretty good. Um, Super Bomberman R, one of the launch games. I haven't played it yet. I just got a copy the other day. Um, it just got a massive update that like improved it to 60 FPS and added all these new modes to it. It's almost like doubled the content all for free. Wow. Like It's crazy. Um, the game is significantly better today than it was at launch. Um, so like even I can see people adjusting their reviews of Super Bomberman now and being like, oh, hey, look, like, this is this is like an actual good game now, not just okay. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, yeah, ten million just feels low right now, and it, it feels weird saying that because like, oh, they're not gonna sell three million every month. I'm like, no, of course they're not gonna sell three million every month. But you know, could they sell fifteen over twelve? Yeah, I, I can see them selling easily over yeah. a million. Eight, uh, I, we haven't even had our first holiday period yet. Right. And it's not like, yeah, Xbox Scorpio comes out and that's going to have momentum and everything. But, dude, what game is going to outshine Mario Odyssey? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, there's going to be that new Call of Duty game, the World War II game, mm-hmm. uh, which does look pretty good. Um, there, there's going to be, you know, maybe new Assassin's Creed, maybe, you know, whatever new games Sony, Microsoft have coming. But, again... When has Mario truly ever been outshined when it's a major uh, 3D platforming game? Like, it, it just yeah, doesn't happen. No yeah. when, when Galaxy came out, did it get overshadowed? Of course it did. Galaxy 2 get overshadowed? No. Did Super Mario 3D World get overshadowed? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because that was not the type of 3D platforming game people wanted. They wanted that free roaming experience. Right. Um, so, yeah. I think the Switch has the momentum. Um Nintendo's just gotta capitalize. And, well, right. And but I the think, thing is, the thing is, that makes me feel like maybe the ten million is right because Nintendo doesn't do well at capitalizing on momentum. Yeah. <laughs> so there is that. Um, but again, from what I see, like, yeah, Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, yeah, it's a Wii U game, but dude, not a lot, not a lot of people only Wii U's. We, I yeah. mean, in yeah, one right. month, this thing. I mean, by the end of this fiscal year, it could already have outsold the Wii U. 
in terms of total sales for the Switch. Yeah. So it's like, dude, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is going to sell, man. Right, right. And I, I think they have their game spaced out well enough oh, that yes. it's going to, by the time it hits it's a not, small little it's lull. It's not, uh, here's launch games, then here's nothing for three months, then we release Lego City, then nothing for six months, and yeah. then here's Pikmin. It's right. like, yeah. here it's like, no, we have Zelda. Yep. You know, plus one, two, switch in our launch lineup. Yep. And we have some indie games in between during the month. Indie games, indie games. And then, bam, here's Mario Kart. Yep. Indie games, indie games, Minecraft, indie games, indie games, indie games. For a whole month. They kind of have a month off. But yep. they, it almost goes up past. Like, I feel like they, they put, instead of putting Mario Kart at the beginning of the month, they put it at the end because they want it to carry both months. Yep. So Mario Kart could actually carry sales for another month. Oh, yeah. And then, bam, arms. Yep. And then you have E, th- well E three and then arms at the same time, kind of. And then right after that, Splatoon two, and then whatever yep. they have after that, and then after that, it's all lined up leading up to Mario. Yep. Um, so that feels a lot better than what they did with Wii U. Mm-hmm. It even feels a lot better than what they did with three DS. Three DS launched with zero games that mattered: Pilot Wings, Street yeah. Fighter. Yeah. Like there was nothing people really wanted to play. Um, Madden wasn't good. <laughs> In fact, the first game to really sell three DS units was a remaster of Ocarina of Time. So it's like yeah. Okay, yeah. when are we going to get, like, a good game? Yeah, yeah. Like, let's not say that's a bad game, but, like, a, a unique game to the platform. Yeah, yeah, right, and Then right. Mario Kart 7 came out, and yeah. Super Mario 3D Land, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of kind of the roundup for, for the big uh, news. Um, so in other words, it was a fairly decent year for Nintendo. And yeah. And it's going to be probably another fairly decent year this year, too, I think. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just glancing at some of the notes they have here. Uh, for some of the plans like Fire Emblem Echo Shadow of Allegia, it releases in May. Um, and Ever Oasis and Hey Pikmin in June, July. Like they're talking about some 3DS momentum stuff. Um, you know, and they project like a net sales of 750 billion yen and an operating profit of 65 billion yen, an ordinary profit of 60 billion yen, and a net profit attributed to owners uh, 45 billion yen uh, for this next fiscal year. Um, yeah, so it's. Looking good. I think it's the big takeaway from this is Nintendo had what a hell of a year in terms of making money for investors. And while this year is not going to make that much money because, you know, again, no Seattle Mariners, no this and that. Right. But they are in a very good position to potentially get back to Wii levels. And that's crazy because it was Wii and DS hitting at the same time. 3DS isn't nearly as big as either of those. And Switch might be maybe for this first year hitting the sales ground as hard as one of those platforms. Right. So if they can get in, can off one of those platforms, get up to Wii and DS numbers. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, right. So Nintendo, they're making that money, money. And I'm sorry, this is probably a little boring segment because there's a lot of facts, but. Right. Oh, dude, there's a lot going on at Nintendo. Um, loving it. Loving it. Um, what's your biggest takeaway out of this investors meeting? Hmm. I should have probably invested in Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> should have bought it when the stock was low. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sold when it peaked during Pokemon Go. Yep. Um, 